Hey everybody, Tack Dad here with an update of my Polymer 80 build and what I was getting brass in the face I went ahead and I got the 30274 ejector and the shape of this ejector is different than the other one this one sort of curls a little bit and up and I put this in and I started shooting my weakest ammo that I have which is the Freedom Munitions 147 grain brass plated steel these right here and yeah this says steel but uh, these are brass plated so it's basically like shooting normal ammo except these, uh, like I said, are the weakest ones. They give me the least amount of kickback when I shoot. And I started getting uh, stovepipes pretty much with every round of this. Then I switched off to Magtech and Fioki. And, of course, the uh, 124 grain Winchesters, the NATO rounds. 124 grain NATO rounds. Um, everything else... Worked well, no more brass in the face, but it uh, I'd get one or two that were erratic, and then most of them were up high to the right, up high to the right, like, you know, to the four o'clock position. So what I did was I said, well, let me just see if, uh, if I switch out to this Lone Wolf extractor. Let's see if uh, this actually made any difference. And actually, when I switched it out to this, to this extractor, there it is in there. Can't really tell. It's not labeled. But when I switched out the extractor, then I had no failures at all with any of the ammo I had with me. Nice ejection. Even the weak ammo, even though it wouldn't eject very far, it would clear the barrel, clear the slide. And every ammo I had locked the slide back to the rear. So I'm counting this as a success. Very awesome, very sweet. Um, so I suggest if you guys have issues when you put these together, getting your standard uh, Gen 3 lower parts kits, if you start getting brass in the face, switch out the ejector. And unless you have a special, um, I, this, is, this wasn't an OEM. So I don't know if an OEM ejector would have worked fine, but I went with the Lone Wolf. The, the combination of the two awesome okay so until next time guys